Hello friends! How's it going? It's me, Betty Jean. In today's video, I just wanted to do a chill little get ready with me playing with old makeup in my collection. Wanted to feature some throwbacks, play with some things that I maybe talked about in my spring favorites video, and just have a good old time doing some makeup. Before we get into it, this necklace is from Ana Luisa, and that's pretty much all I have to say. <laughs> so without further ado, let's just hop in, play with some makeup. You know the drill. All right, my friends, hello, how's it going? I am going to do my makeup, doing a full face of old makeup, and yeah, we're just gonna hop to it. Of course, I did already prime before I did my brows as usual. Um, I used my Glossier Future Dew today. It's an old favorite, it's amazing. I just love how glowy it makes my skin. So pretty. I'm gonna kind of skip foundation, but I did wanna just do another layer of something. So this is the e.l.f. Halo Glow Liquid Filter. I'm actually almost out of this. I'm kind of like scraping the edges. Um, so I actually ordered a new one and they make even more shades of this now. So I ordered one that's a little lighter because this one works. It's the shade One Fair. Um, I think I ordered 0 0.5 or maybe just zero. Um, because this one works but i mean i could stand to have a slightly lighter one and now that it's an option that's the one i ordered so i'm just gonna blend this into the skin this mostly just acts as like a glowy primary type product with like maybe the teensiest like sheerest amount of tint nothing that i would even call like a skin tint but it does just make the skin look really nice so that's what i'm doing today what are you doing today by the way <laughs> I'm getting ready for work on this Monday morning. I don't know when this video is going up, probably in a few days. Um, but what's going on with you? I'm just getting ready for work and all the things. For concealer, I'm going to use my Rare Beauty concealer and not my under eye brightener because I'm officially out of it. I'm in a place right now where I'm deciding if I'm going to get a new one at the Sephora sale. One of you had told me recently that you use the e.l.f. Um, halo glow like highlight wand in the same way where i do it in the outer corner with the rare beauty so i'm gonna try that i ordered that too so that'll be coming in soon i just needed an order of restock so i just threw that in my cart too because i had a coupon to use so i needed to make that threshold to make the coupon worth it right so if that ends up working i might not repurchase the rare beauty one but we shall see Time shall tell. I also, as you can see in this video, I rearranged my filming space a little bit. Pretty much the same, I just reoriented it a little bit and I have so much more space in my room. I had room to put my desk and computer and I'm really liking the vibe of it. There's just something about switching it up, you know? It just feels good. So, yeah. <laughs> That's new, my hair's new. I think this is my first like YouTube video I'm filming with my new hair. I did it on Saturday. And I'm loving it. I think I did so good. Zane was a little assistant to help me do my highlights in the back. I'd like make my section and then he would <laughs> help me out. And he was a good little assistant. For those of you who don't know, I do hair. <laughs> That's like my day job. So every once in a while, I get to treat myself to doing my own hair, time permitting. I need a little bit of a lip mask. This is just the lawless one. I just need something. My lips are dry. So next is the only thing that I'm going to use that isn't old. Um, it's just my e.l.f. Halo Glow Loose Powder. It's just my favorite. I basically refuse to use anything else at this point. It's the only one that I love right now. I'm almost out of this one as well, but I did order more, so that is fine. I'm just going to kind of set my under eyes and around my mouth, like anywhere that I get creasy before I go in with my like bronzer and blush and all that jazz. And then I'm just gonna grab a little of my NYX High Glass that unfortunately got discontinued forever ago, <laughs> but I still have a few of them, so I still use them. In the meantime, just gonna kind of lightly set the perimeters of my face. I just love how glowy it is. It's so pretty, but honestly with the loose Halo Glow Powder, it's so lightweight and so natural and like, Luminous but not highlighty. Um, that I'll be fine just using that everywhere once I finally run out of these. And who knows, maybe they'll come out with a pressed powder version of the Halo Glow Powder. That would be actually wonderful. For bronzer, I'm kind of back to using my Fenty Into Sun bronzer. Like, look at that pan. I'm so happy. <laughs> I'm just gonna use this Sigma F44 brush. I like kind of forgot that I had this brush because I forgot about the Beauty and the Beast collection. But I really, really, really like this brush for bronzer. I like the shape, I like the fluffiness. I think it blends everything really, really well. What's going on for April? Do you have any plans for April? I can't believe March is like ending. I feel like this first quarter of the year has gone by so quick. Like I feel like I can distinctly remember January starting. 
Um, but now all of a sudden it's April. It's spring, winter's over. Like, what? <laughs> what happened? I have the Creators and Friends trip with my other YouTube friends in New Orleans soon. That's gonna be super fun. I plan on vlogging as much as I can. I'm very excited just to see some people I haven't seen in a while and meet some new people. It's gonna be such a good time. We'd also actually just made plans to go back to Colorado in May, like the other day to see our friends again. So that's gonna be super fun as well. They said May's a really good time of year to go. And we've only been in the fall and winter so far, so want to experience it all. For blush, I figured I'd use one of these Kaleidos ones. It's been a hot minute since these came out. I don't remember the name of this one. It might be Ecstasy, it might be something else. They don't write the shade names on them, but I'll have everything I use today in the description box. And this is just a Sigma F40 brush. I'm just gonna dust this just on the tops of the cheekbones. I thought this blush color would look cute with the look that I plan on doing today. I wanna do something very blue. I'm feeling blue today. Of course, a little bit on the nose, you know the drill. And then of course, just a couple fake freckles. Nothing too crazy today. Just a couple little cuties. And for highlighter today, I really wanted to throw it back. I wanna use my ColourPop Flexitarian. Um, this has been a favorite for literally years. I'm just gonna go in with my Lethal 125 Tiny Little Fan Brush just gonna highlight my highlighty spots. I feel like this highlighter has truly stood the test of time for me. It's just so shiny and wonderful. It's so pretty. Just gonna pat that all in, make sure everything is blending nicely. And I'm gonna spray with my Rare Beauty setting spray and then we'll move on to the eyes. So for eyeshadow today, I kind of wanted to use two Lethal Cosmetics palettes. The Night Flower came out quite a few years ago. Um, it looks like this, it's so pretty. Gorgeous. And then I also wanted to pair the Wildflower. This one came out, I think, a year ago. But I also talked about both of these in my spring makeup favorites video. You can check that out if you missed it. Um, so I thought like, it'd be fun to kind of combine these together and play with them in a old makeup get ready with me. So I'm going to prime with my Milk Makeup Hydro Grip Eye Primer. I'm just going to smear this on and blend it out. And like I mentioned before, I'm just feeling kind of a blue look today. I don't know why. Blue just sounds nice. Sounds like the vibe for today. So I want to start with the Wildflower palette, I think, and I want to go in with that dark blue. I'm going to use this little Luxie 131 brush. And I'm just going to kind of stamp this in the outer corner and kind of feather that onto that like lash line just a tiny bit. The shimmers are going to kind of be the star of the show for this look, but I do want some depth going on with the matte. I'm gonna also drag some of this in that outer third of that lower lash line, just for that kind of droopy, smoky sort of look. And then dipping into the Night Flower, I'm gonna take this grayish shade. I'm just gonna use the Spectrum B07. I'm gonna kind of start on that lower part and just really focus on that outer third and just get it really, really blendy. And then as I'm working my way around, I'll kind of dust and smear this along that outer corner of the regular lid too. Just getting a really diffused sort of vibe going on. It's really pretty and that blended super easy. All right, let's move on to shimmer. I'm gonna start with my NYX Glitter Primer, of course. I'm already really liking the direction this is going. It's looking cute. Put a little bloop of it on each finger and I'm just gonna kind of tippy tap this across both lids. So I'm gonna start with the Night Flower palette and I want this blue shimmer. And I just wanna kind of tuck this in that outer part of my lid, kind of blending it in toward the mattes in the outer corner. Oh yeah, that's pretty. And then dipping into the Wildflower, I want this shade. And I just want that kind of on the rest of my lid. I think that'll be really pretty. So I'm just using a different finger so I can use, like switch between both to get them to blend together. This is so pretty, wow. I love blue eyeshadow. I just love it so much. I think it's so pretty. It's kind of tippy tapping that. And then I'm just going to kind of shimmy between both fingers where they meet until I like the way they blend together. Mm, this is so cute. I just want to take one more blue, this one here from the Night Flower, and I want to use that in my inner corners. Oh yes, that's such a fun splash. Wow, that's really pretty. I might even drag some of this on that lower lash line. Yeah, I'm just going to grab a little pencil brush from Spectrum, and I want to like kind of drag some all underneath too. 
I mean, not the entire underneath, just like that front little pocket and let it blend into the rest of the mats underneath. Ooh, that's so pretty. That just like brought everything to life. That's gorgeous. And this is kind of the look. I just need to throw on an eye pencil, lashes, and probably just a gloss today. I'm feeling kind of simple. So let me, let me do that. Here's how the final look turned out. I really, really like it. I love all the blue. I just think it looks so pretty. I'm very into it. These are my flutter lashes from Bright Lashes. The eye pencil I chose is Crystal Crush from ColourPop. And then my lip combo is an older gloss, I think, but a newer pencil. I just, I couldn't help myself. Um, but I'm using the Freck number two pencil. I'm just so obsessed with these lip pencils. And then I use the Lawless Blushed Sand Gloss on top. It's just pinky and glossy. I feel like it kind of matches my blush a little bit too. Overall, I really, really like it. Thank you so much for watching my video. I had so much fun today just relaxing and doing some makeup and playing with some things I haven't touched in a while. I really like how this look turned out overall. I'm super pleased with it and I hope you like it as well. If you made it to the end of this video, why don't you leave some blue emojis because I feel like blue is the star of the show right now. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. It helps my channel out a lot. And if you're not already, you can follow me over on Instagram. I'm Batty Bean there as well. You can also subscribe. I'm posting most days over here. You can also join my channel memberships. Link to sign up will be down below. You'll get fun little perks, including a members only video once a month. Thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you in the next one. Okay, bye.